Good morning, soft layers. Uh, my name is Eamon Killian. I have been doing a set of tutorials on how to get started using IBM Softlayer, and this is a very quick uh, update tutorial. Um, this will be tutorial 12, where we're going to start laying some groundwork. There'll probably be quite short, snappy little pieces now during um, tutorial 12, which will eventually lead us to where we want to go. So. Why is it going to be short and snappy? Well, I'm going to cover some, um, some basically housekeeping measures. Uh, the first of which is a very short uh, and quick input on how to get a better um, SSL connection going or actually a PPTP connection going. Um, so we saw in one of the earlier tutorials how you can use the Array Networks uh, SSL VPN to connect to software. And I was using this quite happily, the Array Networks, it was working fine. And then I had uh, a friend and colleague point out to me that uh, from Mac, it's even easier. There's an easier way to do this. So uh, I said, well, take me through it. So he introduced me to the wonders of um, connecting straight from system preferences. So I thought, do you know what? I might as well show people how to do this in case you haven't come across it already. So basically what you do is go into system preferences. Um, first of all, I guess we ought to look at uh, some of my devices. Um, so if I drag this in, here is some of my devices on uh, software. So we have a private address, and this sort of gives away something we'll be doing in one of the later tutorials. We'll be having a look at Core OS. Um, 10 112 private address here. So I'm going to take that... Uh, private IP address and as we've seen before in when we've been doing these tutorials I'm going to ping that IP address <clears throat> and of course I'm getting nothing because it's on the private network so we want to connect regularly to the private network and I've been firing off an array SSL VPN at this point and then I'm able to ping this device well no more it is much easier so you go to network and then I'm actually going to add a network connection in here. But first, I need a little bit of information. Uh, I need to know where I'm going to be connecting to. So, if you go to Google and you type in software, PPTP VPN addresses, and do a search, there is a wonderful article from software in the knowledge layer on how to get connected using Mac OS 10. And in here it has a list of the PPT VPN servers that you can connect to. So I'm going to grab, because uh, I've been using it the whole time, Amsterdam. Put that in my buffer. Slim that down. I'm going to add a connection. And I'm going to say it is a VPN. And I'm going to choose PPTP. I'm going to create this. I say my server address to connect to is the one we just picked up. My software username. Um, I found that you can leave it at 128 or 40 and I want to show this in my status bar. So that will have a little bar up here but way over on the, uh, on the right hand side um, of my screen. So if I apply that and then connect. It throws me up a type in your password window, which I've just done. There it is connecting, a couple of seconds and you're in. And it is that simple. No downloading, no messing about, and now we can ping and there's our server. And I find this so much more easy now. Um, so my, my abundant thanks to my friend and colleague, Rob Garrett, for pointing that out to me. Um, even though he's a Windows guy, um, he still knew that from his Mac as well, uh, this was the way to get connected in a much, much easier fashion. So thanks very much. That's part one, short and sweet and simple, but I wanted to make sure everybody knew about this um, because it is a much more effective measure of getting from your machine into software. Join me in part two when we're gonna look at NAS um, on CentOS within um, software. 
My name's Eamon Killian. Thanks for watching.